Hi, Sean Clement here with a show that many of you, I'm sure, have been waiting for. This is a show on the driver. As you saw with the fairway woods, I have my five wood here. You can see how the design of the club is designed to hit the ball off the ground. Notice the height of the face of the driver, that's designed to hit the ball in the air on a tee. So there's a very specific setup for this. And once you understand how, to, how the setup works, you'll see that your driver is going to go a lot better, okay? If I had the ball sitting right here on the ground, like the fairway woods, I would keep the club in the center of my stance and play the ball just forward to center. The club would go up, weight shifts, then the club comes back down, catches the ball. Notice how much shallower the club comes in, catches the ball, catches the ground, and then goes up, okay? So when the ball's on the ground, that's the setup. Now the ball here is on a tee. And the right height, the appropriate height to get the most success out of your driver is where half the ball is above the top of the club head, okay? Because as you catch it slightly on the upswing, that's where you will catch the ball right here, just above the equator. And that's where the maximum spring effect of the club face is, okay? Now, because the ball is in the air, I play the ball off the forward foot. So right opposite my left instep, right? And the key here is to never face the golf ball. Many of you have been facing the golf ball, and this is opening your shoulders to the target line. So now your body is set up to swing across the ball, which will cause a side spin and make the ball curve to the right, the dreaded slice. Also, because now the ball is in the center of my sternum, the club goes up, comes down under the ball, and only comes up over here. So now the ball is popping into the air and going nowhere. We, we don't want that either. So we want the center of the club and the center of the stance as usual. And we are centered with the golf club as usual, but the eyes are gonna be on the back of the ball. So now the club's gonna go up, come back down, and from there, go back up again and I'll catch the ball on the true upswing. So after I hit the shot, you'll notice the tee will probably still be in the ground because I'm hitting the ball, I'm not here to hit the tee, right? Good, get centered with the golf club. Now I'm in a position to catch the ball on the true upswing. Now as far as the swing is concerned, just so you understand that we have the longest club in the bag. If I had a wedge in my hands, it would be like pushing a kid on a, on a very small swing set. It would look like this. Push, wait, push. So the cycle of momentum would be very short compared to the driver. The driver is like pushing a big kid on a big swing set. So it's more like push, wait, push. So it's a much longer cycle of momentum. You're gonna to have to listen to the momentum carefully, okay? So nice wide backswing, nice wide follow through to the target. You're letting gravity make the swing as wide as possible, but without trying to strain. You let gravity do all the work, okay? Now you'll notice that the back of the club, like the fairway wood, is designed so that it's rounded off and the club can glide along the ground. So the club is designed to stay along the ground for a while. So don't try to pick it up because you're cutting away at the, this very precious arc, okay? Feels like I'm gonna catch it on the upswing. Okay, there we go. So what was that feel again? Oh yeah, that nice one. Whip. Caught the ball on the upswing, solid contact, great balance. Notice how the tee is still there. So I'm catching the ball on the upswing. So you notice you shouldn't be breaking your tees. One last little tidbit of information. There's a, a line on every ball. You know, the, the golf balls always have a name written on it. You have 18 opportunities for perfect alignment. So you take the name of the ball and you line it up to where you want to go, okay? So if I'm lining up the name of the ball when I put the ball on a tee, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the name of the ball and I'm going to line it up on the upswing. So I've got a beautiful little arrow here. Line it up towards my target and make sure that the arrow is pointing slightly up. So I always have the feel that I'm gonna catch the ball on the way up. So it's a great visual to help you with this. Enjoy.